Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, Bob here, and uh, we just finished the, if you watched last video, we just finished the so Sokolov mission, uh, we've uh, kidnapped the old bugger, and now we're going to, uh, we're going to go asleep. Time to rest. Got no idea what the uh, next mission is. Corvo, wake up! You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. That's a good idea. You can stay here whenever you want. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Maybe you need a change of clothes, my girl. I'm running around in those for God knows how long. Anyway, that's, uh, you're just going to sit there. Oh, you're going to sit there and read. Okay, right, so let's go and find out what's going on. Ooh, let's go and find out what's the... Uh, Say something, Wallace. Oh, chap. Okay, where the hell is everyone? <laughs> Let's go and off ask Wallace, see if he's aware. Say what you will, the royal physician knows his wine. Okay, fair enough. Let's go and see what Pendleton's Corvo. doing. You never cease to amaze. I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. He's a bit of a strange chap, isn't he? Um Oh, there's a big sale. Maybe he's in Oh here Royal we are. Physician. I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress. And the former spy master, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying this city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry clay, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so far. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat was funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. Okay. So what are we going to do? Send in the rats? What do you think, Admiral? It's time to put him to the question. Okay. And we'll do that. What is that? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's talk to him. You're part of this rabble. But I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Yeah, let's see how you get with some gnats nibbling on your backside, shall we? Sorry, sir. I will tell you what you need to know. <laughs> okay. Your mind's to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, 
She still makes a striking portrait, but I do not know which boy she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle Estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes, you will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. Woohoo! Okay. So we've got a mission. Oh, I, I hear just... you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. Yep. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. Okay. Well, another little little side quest there. Let's see what Emily's got to say. Ooh, not a lot, <laughs> by the looks of it. <laughs> we must admire Lord Pendleton's composure in the face of his terrible loss. Do I need... I'm not sure if I need anything from... Um, let's see if I, if I can buy anything from Piero before I go. Might need some sleeping darts or some such. Uh, oh, oh, there he is. Battle? Of course. How are you supposed to buy anything from someone? Oh, they're, not, they're not around. Everything was so fancy at the Golden Cat, but in a different way than the palace was fancy. The old Madame Prudence said that all the ladies are princesses and the men come to admire them. Yeah. Right oh. Anyway, let's get on for this let's get off on this mission, guys, I think probably. What the Admiral's doing where he's going. Sam will know what's going on. Me and you again, Sam. Royal costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? Yep. Oops. Let's go. Assassinate Lady Boyle. Okay. What if there's a way of doing it that doesn't involve me sort of, you know, actually doing it myself? stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. What's going on? Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. We've got these we got those guys on walking stilts. They're shooting at <laughs> shooting at just people running over the bridge for for some reason. <laughs> awesome. Very Half-Life 2-y, 2-ish that is. Now. Oh my. Oop, won't let us up there for some reason. Let's have a swim instead then. Oh, look at those fireworks. Really nice. I'm assuming that's the Boyle's place over there. Um, we've got these tall boy things wandering around. I guess I've got to, got to avoid those. I'm going to assume. Attention citizens. Please clear the streets. This area is restricted to invited guests only by request of the local landowners. Unauthorized intruders will be expelled or apprehended on site. Seem to be um seem to be any obvious sort of tall tall uh, sort of sorry high points to get to. There is a there's an open window up there in that building. I'd quite like to get up there. Whatever that is. I'm not sure if the tall boy is hopefully he's just uh patrolling over the old uh, the old section there. Uh-huh. Can we get up 
out there. Yeah. Okay. I don't know who those people were the tall boy was shooting at. Um, <laughs> I guess it don't matter, does it really? Ah, oh, here we go. That's that window he was looking for. And I can hear the... Uh, oh! Sound of a, of a room. Going to a party, Corvo. Is that what you dreamed of? All those months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the executioner? Well, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing, drinking Tibian wine. And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month. Year after year, far away, even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and grey. Half the city oh, can see the lights of the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Yes. Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party. Well, he's a caution and no mistake, isn't he? You wanted me to decide. You asked me to do it. There's a hole in the world. Okay. Bone charm there. God, look at the state of that chap. Oh! What the hell is that? Oh! Bloody hell. Oh my god, there's loads of them. Well, that didn't turn out very well. <laughs> I certainly never expected that. Still, I got the bone charm. That's the most important thing. Now, I'm assuming that's the party. Party over there. Uh, there does seem to be stuff going on up this way, though. I'm not sure if we should go and investigate. Can I reach that? Is there actually anything going on up here? Okay. Or oh, is a normal old oh, tool? Didn't old Granny Rags used to live right here? I don't know what oh, that, those guys are doing. Crazy old lady. We'll avoid that. There is a tall boy out there, so that's uh, that's not the way for us to go. Uh, doorway down there. I think we had enough of that building, though. Let's see if we can get into the party. that tall boy. Oh, there's a guard up there. He kind of saw us, but didn't really. to be anyone in here. Nope. All empty. It's pretty quiet around here tonight. It's, I guess maybe everyone's at the party. Oh, tall boy coming. Let's hide again. I must be able to get up there. No? Oh, there we go. Neutral zone reached. Trying to blend in. Okay, I will do exactly that. Got the mask on. Oh, I, oh, there went my invitation. Matty, don't chase after that. <laughs> don't know what's in those buildings. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so now we have an invitation. Awesome. 
was pretty neat. Going to wear the same costume in different parts and were made to guess. Another of their eccentric fancies. I suppose we've no choice but to play. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be inexpressibly tiresome. If you're not going to have fun, <laughs> maybe you should go home. Inexpressibly <laughs> tiresome. Once we locate the <laughs> I like that. I like that phrase. Difficult. As much as you take in being easy. Shall we go in? Emma insisted we need her out by the curb. Well, I'm going to catch plague and die waiting out here. <laughs> I'm sure she'd like that. Why don't you wait here as any gentleman would, and we'll go inside and make nasty remarks about Emma's style. Or lack of it. Well, we know I'm no gentleman, so you might as well make them here. You have to feel sorry for her. She's only here to ask for a handout. She Aww. must be desperate. Poor Emma. When have the boils ever given anything away? Maybe she hopes she'll win the game. Well, life is so boring. I'd die without gossip. We'll probably die anyway, waiting for Emma. I'll drink to that. Which part? Any of it. <laughs> Damn, I want some wine. <laughs> okay, so where are these guys going in? Is that, is that what they're up to? Uh, looks like it. Okay, so what are you doing? Okay, you're just hanging around, that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll go in. House key needed, okay. Well, I've got a bloody invitation. How'd you get any? Have you got an invitation? Invitation, please. There we go. Right this way, sir. Uh. Around where the door is. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that mask. Sick bastard. Oh, you're going down. You're going down, door. Another party game. It was fun for a season. Oh my, that's wicked. Who made that mask for you? It's exactly <laughs> like the one. That's oh, going yeah. to cast a pall over the whole evening. I think I'm starting to enjoy myself. <laughs> Excellent. Right, so we need to know who Boyle is. We need to find out which which Boyle we've got to kill. I have to say, it's quite um, a, this this level kind of reminds me of. Uh, Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Thank you very much. This this uh things this are bad. Could the city get any worse? Yes, of course. This particular sort of mission reminds me a little bit of a Hitman Blood Money mission, which is pretty cool. Now oh, here's yes. Ah, here's the guy with the um. Pendleton wants and can we give him the note? There we go. Pendleton, hmm. what's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless, lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. Okay. It's damn cold tonight. Hurry up. And let's see what you're made of. Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon. Uh, what? A contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, <laughs> oh, great. Lord Trevor Pendleton, <laughs> and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at Get on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. <laughs> Great, Sorry, so. Lord. We shall proceed. Oh, Pendleton got me into a fight. Yeah, thanks for that, mate. What skills have I got that I can use? Uh, yeah, nothing, really. Stop. Stand right there. Huh? I am. Three. Two. One. Okay, I got obviously got that wrong. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Let's resume. When I last when I turn around I press the left button instead of the right bloody button to shoot the gun. Pretty stupid. 
I can probably cheat somehow, but you know, maybe not. Stop. Stand right there. Come on. Three. Two. One. Ooh. Did I get him? And that's another patron dead. What do we do now? <laughs> it's lucky we're in demand. I hear the Estermonts pay top coin. No use trying them tonight. Let's see if we can find a little brandy. Let the boils clean up the mess. There we go. Job done. Now we could we could of course go straight into the building. Um, the normal way. Why would we do that though? Can we can we get up anywhere? Blinky blink. Surely we can. There we go. Oops. Witchcraft. Hey, they told me not to let anyone up here. Do me a favor and head back down. He's a polite chap, isn't he? Sorry, though. No offence, as soon as you're polite, I'll just pop you in the corner. When you wake up, uh, it'll be over with. Your own squad after what happened last night? Yes, of course. Ah, I'll go, to this, go to the mansion's second floor, forbidden. Stay on the balcony. Okay. Right, well it seems I guess are not allowed up on the second floor, but you know. We are a we are a sneaky sneaky uh, assassin. someone saying something about the fact that I've got to work out which boil is the right one. So they're all going to be dressed the same, maybe? That quite possibly could be the uh, could be the case. Oh, nice big chest. Let's have a look. Crystal cider. I could drink some if I wanted, but <laughs> I could do without being uh, <laughs> without being drunk. I think probably. Now, I suppose I'm looking for a clue. Uh, Dumble Tower skeleton key. Okay. Yes, my darling. Here are the free costumes for your party. It pains me that I can't be there, though I'm sure you understand why. I don't know. I know you're going to look very lovely in red. I mean, close the skeleton key to Dumble Tower. When you visit me, no barrier will come between us. Okay. So. So we've identified which tart, which. Uh, we've identified what our target's wearing, the red costume. Low. Move away from the door. Now yeah, nice. yeah, we could go straight downstairs, but I believe I believe we want to explore a bit more. This feels like it's going to be another marvellous level like the uh, the one previously. I do love these games, you know, this sort of thing. Uh, blood money. Um, you know, the thief games. 
those kind those kind of games. Games where you can you can explore around an area, um, looking for stuff, just being a bit sneaky. It's just uh, awesome, essentially. Yeah. Oh bloody hell! <laughs> picture made me jump. <laughs> can we take the picture? We can. Three hundred coins for that one. A lot of guards up on this floor, so gotta be careful. I'm sure I saw something over here. Boy an egg. 150 coins. We must be well off. I haven't actually really needed to spend the money on much, to be honest with you. Um, three guards there. Wow. Um, I assume that was quite lucky. Bloody hell, I just blinked and fall, fell down into, into the middle of the party. Welcome to the boiler state. Just behind a guard with my weapons drawn. Um, yeah. Holy you smoke. Oh. I should have taught him some manners. I know this here. He's got one of his music boxes, so I can't use my magic. Party guest. Like a sort of a billiard table kind of thing. What is it now? She had her job at pick up the boy in the street. There was all the years old. No family left. I thought her interests were. I'll eat some of the food and stuff while we're here. Take advantage of things. There's a rat. <laughs> I can't believe they let the rat turn. Careful. Oh. The wall of light is a gift from the Lord Regent, designed to keep his good friends safe. Okay. I doubt you qualify. Oh, fair enough, and he walks the wall of light there. Right, I did see you could get I did see Boyle just now, dressed in red. Anything you need, sir. Oh Lydia. There she is. Let's have a chat. Oh doing all Hello, right. handsome. Let me get you a drink. I'm already seeing two of you, but thanks anyway. Maybe we'd have more privacy in your chambers. That sounds lovely. Why don't you come with me? Oh wow. Well she's an easy pickup. Holy smoke. Didn't have to work hard at all there. A gentleman? I'll have you know I'm as gentle as I need to be in any given situation. As I think I've proven. I told you not to <laughs> Bless you. Wow, look at this. This is uh this is very opulent. Most don't remember is, I think, I think you would say. <laughs> the odd model of a whale there. Are you sure? That's not how I remember. There's something. Excuse me. Let's have some sausage. A bit of garlic in there. She won't want to kiss me then, will she? Good evening, madame. You know, I have <laughs> I'm going upstairs. Here. We're gonna have so much fun. I'm coming. <laughs> Truthfully, if I could get free of him, I would. You're more my type. Mysterious, silent, self-composed. I do believe this is going to be a fabulous evening. Okay. Let's shut the door. There we go. Damn it! Oh. Take anything. The Boyle cameo was in the attic last I checked. Just please don't hurt me. What? Ah, she she seen that saw the she saw the dead. Not like this. Oh, she, she saw the dead guy. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, that's a pain. I was kind of wondering if there was different ways that I could kill her, so it wasn't so obvious. I didn't when I was in her. I was I was in her apartments. <laughs> Just dumped the dead guy in her bedroom. Yeah. Um. Well, I guess one way, this is this is one way of killing her, isn't it? Chatting her up, bringing her up to her bedroom, uh, and finishing her off. Ah! 
Oh. Oh, well, guys, that was a disappointing kill, wasn't it? I did, oh, I didn't assassinate her. I just, all I did was bumped into her. <laughs> I'm that hard. I bump into people and they die. Well, that's, that's a bit disappointing. Um, I was hoping for a, for a bit more there. Not in, not in that way, you understand. But, uh... I'm not quite sure how she died. Just from my, my bumping into her. Well, that was, this mission's been a bit of an anticlimax. I quite enjoyed just sneaking around. Um, it was over pretty quickly. I'm not quite sure, um... Maybe I just took the quick route. Maybe it's just a quick quick mission. No idea. Um, I was hoping to try and do something a bit... A bit, bit non-lethally, maybe. Oh, there's a diary here. I shall be the first man to ask for it. <laughs> and the second after that, oh dear. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, well, I was hoping there might be more of a non-lethal way of doing it. Maybe I could just arrange an accident or something. Uh, but obviously not. Obviously not. Well, okay, that's it then, guys. Let's see if we can get out of here. Now, it was interesting. I did pick up that key for the... Um, I did pick up the key for the uh, Dunwall Watchtower or something, um, where the woman who sent the dresses was, uh, who sent the costumes was was hanging out. I'm not sure if that's actually on this level. If I can, I can find it here. The old, uh, the old bells tolling there. Oh look. A little uh, little building up, little uh, place up there. Let's go up there and have a look, shall we? While we're here, oh, okay, this is interesting, yeah, or not, maybe. Well, nothing here. Just looks like it was a just a place that I could have come. Oh, there are some stairs though. Let's have a look. Is this part of the main mansion? Oh, guards' quarters key needed. Bloody hell! I try and pickpocket a guard. Oh, this chap's got the key. Will they see me pickpocket? Oops, nearly. If you like your teeth, you'll cut that out. <laughs> oh well, I managed to get the yeah, whatever it was. Let's head up to the guards' room. See what's going on. Oh, okay. No one here. Obviously down doing their job. Guard quarters key. I don't know why I'm taking that. But there you go. Now I can hear. Oh, it's a rune. Is that the only one? Oh, there's a bone charm quite close. The rune's quite a long way away, but I reckon we could probably find that. The loot, though, you can't complain. Oh, I'm not sure what building we're in. It's not quite a part of the. Uh, not quite a part 
of the estate, is it? Well, it kind of is, but it's uh, seems a bit worn down. There's certainly lots of stuff here, though. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go down these stairs. Oh. What happened there? Did someone hear me? Oh, there's a there's a sleeper weeper thing, I should say. Guards, this things look weepers attacking me. What's wrong with you? Oh, bugger. Now, will the weepers attack the guard? No idea. <laughs> That's a bit scary. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we're back where we were. This is the Weepers uh, building, isn't it? I think. Okay, guys. Well, I think uh, I think this video has been going on for a bit longer than normal. I hope you don't mind. I think we've probably. Uh, oh wow! Oh, oh no, we, we came through there, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, I don't think we've finished exploring yet. So what I'll do is I'll end this video here, uh, and then when we come back, we'll carry on exploring the Ball Estate for for a bit longer. Thanks for watching, guys.